Now, following the dismissal of Vice President Dr. Joyce Mujuru and eight other ministers from the cabinet, analysts say President Robert Mugabe has acted within the confines of the constitution and national interests. Political analyst Mr. Kruvani Moyo says the most important issue for the success of government policy and programs is anchored on a team that reads from the same script with the president's vision. It is a major decision done by a shrewd politician who knows how to reconstruct himself and also ensure that he puts on the map the right trajectory of how to, to solve problems that has been affecting uh, this country for a long time. It must understand that uh, this is a party uh, government. It is the party that is in charge of what happens in government. It is the party that constructs what ultimately becomes a policy of government. Another analyst, Mr. Psychology Mazewisa, says members of cabinet are appointed by the president and by so he has the sole discretion to relieve them of their duties if he thinks they have not acted constitutionally or in line with national interests. First, that members of the cabinet, by which meant ministers, their deputies, and even the vice president, are appointed by the president. In other words, they serve at the pleasure of the president who can either choose to keep them or to relieve them of their duties should circumstances warrant that he does so. In circumstances where he decides to relieve them of their duties, the president is guided usually by two things. Firstly, he is guided by the constitution and the exercise of that power. But secondly and more importantly, he is guided in consideration of national interest. In other words, he considers whether the decision to relieve those people of their duties is in the national interest or not. And I think in circumstances, it is fair to say that given what has been happening over the last few weeks, President Mugabe's decision was guided by the national interest. Dr. Mujuru and all the eight ministers have been linked to a plot to illegally oust President Mugabe from power. ZBC News, Harare.